wasn't expecting the uh, the faucets to open. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. You want to grab a tissue? No, it's all right. Okay. How are you feeling now? Yeah, good. That was um, yeah, very powerful. Just, uh, yeah, I could feel like the um the backpack like sort of. I guess I physically know how it feels carrying a heavy backpack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but like, yeah, just and then, yeah, taking stuff out and yeah, just gradually leaning forwards and being able to move on a bit. That's great. Mm -hmm. so what's next? Uh, I'm gonna start clearing. <laughs> <laughs> so Nova and I have just had a quick chat, and she wants to work on um, decluttering. A physical space she's got a lot of things that have come into her life recently um she's taken over someone else's house who sadly passed away and there's a lot of emo um, emotional attachment to some of the items there and she also had some things that just that build up over time in a house from a family that she feels that probably they don't need anymore and mm -hmm. it's probably time to move on and pass them on to a better home or just find some way that they can be useful to other people so what we're going to do is we're going to take nova, nova and we're going to put her into hypnosis and we're going to just go into her and help her with some of those emotional components that are just holding her back from taking those decisions that she knows she wants to do but are just proving a little bit difficult mm -hmm. so okay no so i'm going to put you into hypnosis in a minute and it's going to be like moving into a trance but a trance it's not like going to sleep or it's not about losing control it's more like when you're watching a really good movie and your attention just focuses in on that movie and then your conscious mind just suspends disbelief for a while and that allows you to feel the emotions of the character in that movie and really feel like you're really there even though you're just watching a screen and you consciously know you're watching a screen but when you're watching that really good movie you can feel sad you can feel happy you can feel excited mm -hmm. hypnosis is kind of like that but hypnosis is better because we're not limited by the tv so we can not only elicit emotions we can go back and look at things from your past that perhaps are emotions or habits and we can help you re-examine those to see if they're still helpful for you today and if they're not we can help you dissolve those away so you're able to move on and live the sort of life you want. And we can also put fresh stuff in there. So if there's new habits you want to pick up or if there's something you want to do, we can also help you put those habits in place so you can move on, you can build the mm -hmm. life you want. Yeah. Um, and I think that's going to really help you today to really move on for this and <laughs> declutter your house and get where you want to be um, so you can be happy living where you're living. How does that okay. sound? Yep, sounds great. Okay, so in a moment, Nova, I'm just going to ask you to, um, not yet, but in a moment, just clasp your hands together like this. And then all you have to do, just squeeze the palms together and just extend your two index fingers and keep them apart like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. all you have to do is just interlock your fingers, mm -hmm. two index fingers out. Then I just want you to focus on the gap between those fingers and just focus on that gap and just imagine there's a force pulling your fingers together, a strong hypnotic force, like there's two magnets there pulling your fingers together closer and closer that force becomes stronger and stronger. And now just feel that hypnosis trickling down your arms into your elbows and now up into your shoulders, over the back of your head. And now just flowing down over the top of your head into your eyes as they begin to blink and blink and blink. And when you're ready to make all those wonderful changes you want to make today, just allow your eyes to close. That's right. Now, I want you to think about someone you love or someone who loves you and just focus on that feeling that feeling you have when you see them or think about them that's right and now i just want you to take your attention back to those fingers i want you to imagine that there's tape being wrapped around them wrapped around holding them tight together or they're being bolted together or a chain's being wrapped around them and just focus on those fingers getting tighter and tighter together as your hands get tighter and tighter like a big hug from a loved one and when you're ready i want you to just try and pull those fingers apart just try okay, just try but if you can find they're stuck together there and when you finish trying just relax and allow your hands to relax and as you allow your hands to relax, just go deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. And with every heartbeat, with every breath, 
just allow yourself to get deeper into hypnosis. And allow that powerful subconscious mind of yours to take you all the way down now, all the way down to where it can make all those changes it needs to make. And just give it permission to do anything it needs to do today but you can make all of those changes. And just imagine, only imagine what it's like to go deeper and deeper. Every heartbeat of every breath going deeper and deeper into hypnosis now. To imagine that you're in a place in nature, somewhere special to yourself. Just imagine you're there, taking all the sight. Feel that you're there. Just moving through that environment. You want you to notice that there's a sense that you're carrying a rather heavy backpack and it's pulling you down, pulling you backwards. Just notice that sense that you're being pulled backwards, pulled backwards by the heavy backpack that's weighing you down, the burden you're carrying. Just look around and look at that backpack now and notice how full it is, full of jars and containers of all the things that you've been collecting over the past few days, the past few months, the past few years, all the way back, all the way back to when you were a little girl. Now, some of those things are going to be very important to you. You want to keep those. But your subconscious mind knows that you don't need everything. And it's okay to unburden yourself and just let some things go. So just allow yourself to root round in that backpack and find some of those things that you no longer need. And just take them out of the backpack and place them on the ground. it's like for that backpack to slowly become lighter as the burden of carrying all those things that you no longer need slowly lifts that you feel lighter and lighter now you've given yourself some space some space not just in the backpack some space to think, feeling unencumbered to think what you really want. And now those things are no longer weighing you down. Making those decisions are going to become all the much easier. Some of those things. You may have been thinking for a long time are useful or may become useful but now you realize that they may never come and if you ever need it again you can just come back here and find it and pick it up you don't need to carry it with you Some of those things have got a strong emotional attachment to them. 
and bring back memories from the past, you realize those memories are in your head. They belong to you and you take them wherever you go, regardless of what you keep in the real world, in the physical world. Those memories are yours and they'll be yours for the rest of your life. And you can conjure up those memories whenever you want, just by merely closing your eyes and thinking about them, the loved ones, those special moments, all that time you spent with them, those powerful memories, they'll always be there for you. There's no need to carry the physical manifestations of those memories. You can just let them go. Let them go. And there find a place, a new home, wherever that is. You don't need, really need to worry where they go. Because you know, they will find the right place in the universe, wherever that is. And you're a responsible person. So you're going to direct them wherever you feel is right. And once they're gone, you don't need to think about them anymore. Because you have that memory stored away, locked away. I only want you to focus on those memories. Not on the physical manifestations. But maybe there are a few very special things that you want to keep as a keepsake. And choosing those will be much easier now. Now you can separate those things that you can just conjure up sometime and relive those memories. And those other things that are much, much more important that tell a story a story that tells you something about your life, something about the life of those around you. And it's fine to keep those. But you can always be reminded of those special times. But now you're going to find it much easier to separate those things that are really, really important and hold the special significance away from all those other things that are less important that you no longer need to keep. And some things you may feel difficult to throw away. That's okay. If you want to, you can find some way of maintaining the memory. Maybe you take a picture. Maybe you hand it off to someone who you know will take good care of it. And it can go on existing where it's loved. your time and your space is important so I want you to make time and space for yourself and just let these things go because you realize all of these physical things really they don't matter you could lose them all and you'd still be the same person you still have the same family, the same loved ones, the same memories. And these physical things, whether they're there or not, will not change them. Whatever you've done in the past will still be a memory there for you. You could rebuild your whole life in another country from scratch. And those things those things you're holding on to so tightly, 
would never be there. But would that change anything, really? You still love your loved ones. You still have all the memories. And perhaps you feel that you're trying to piece together a story, a story in your mind, by keeping these things. And that's a good thing to do. Stories are good things. They tell us about who we are, where we came from. But to tell a story, you don't need a prop. There's many ways to tell a story. You can take a picture. You can write something. You can even just verbalize it and share it. And once you realize that, you can set yourself free Free from needing to keep these physical things. Free. Free from the burden. And when you've renovated your house, and you've built that dream house you've been dreaming of for so long. You can keep some of these things, these trinkets, these treasures you've collected, and display them proudly. And when you walk through your house, it's going to trigger those memories of when your boy was a little boy, learning to write, or playing with his toy. All those memories of your mother and your husband they can still be there on the wall. But you don't need everything. Because you're going to find another way of honouring them and those memories. And you know, deep down, what you can do to honour those people. So just take a moment now allow your subconscious mind to give you the ideas, the suggestions about exactly what you're going to do. And you've got a clear picture of exactly how you're going to move forward so you can maintain those memories. You'll feel more confident, more able to move forward in the physical world, to let things go, knowing they're only physical things. Everything inside is still there. And you might have noticed you're starting to feel lighter. Or you might have noticed that backpack, the one you've been unloading, beginning to feel more comfortable. And that's good. Because that means those things that you've been holding on for so long no longer need to be a burden to you. You can carry them in your mind and step forwards into that new life you want. Moving forward in a positive direction. Free from the burden. And now, I want you to imagine yourself 
moving forward through time, maybe six months from now, maybe a year from now. And just imagine your new house in all its glory, completely finished, just how you wanted it. And you're entertaining your friends with all that extra space that you now have. Of all those treasures, those very special ones. And your friends are pointing and asking you about them. And you're telling the story of all those good memories. All those things from your past that make you who you are. And you're so proud to talk about your family and your past. And everybody there. So interested to hear about it. The extraordinary path you've taken to get where you are today. All the challenges you've overcome. All of the hurdles you've crossed. All the things you thought you couldn't do. But you did. And just take a look now around the house. How beautiful it is. Not just the architecture or the decoration, but the memories. Some from yourself, some from the rest of your family, all packaged there together in your house, making you what you are today. Confident, happy. And ready, ready to become that person you want to become. And I want you to feel that feeling, that pride, that confidence, that happiness grow inside you now, becoming stronger and stronger as you realize those decisions are no longer difficult to make. And you know they're the right decisions to make because you've been thinking about them for a long time. And there's no longer a need to hold back. And when you make them, you feel good because you know you're moving on. And you haven't lost anything because everything is in your head, stored away. So allow yourself to feel more and more confident, more and more happy about the future And as you feel more and more happy, more and more confident, more and more pleased with what you've built, just allow yourself to look back one more time, one last time, at how things were and how things are and how things are going to be. And just how much better you feel. Look at yourself, your future self, and just see how content and how happy you are now. Life is easier because you've got less to think about. There's more space. More physical space, more mental space, more space to do whatever it is you want to do. Feel that feeling in your heart. And just focus on it now. Feel that love, respect, that peace, that calm. Just feel it growing in your heart. 
becoming stronger and stronger, beginning to spread through your whole body, up into your neck, into your head, all the way on the top of your head, spreading all the way down to the tips of your toes. You feel more and more powerful, that sense of love and respect, confidence, growing and growing, becoming stronger and stronger, stronger and stronger. As you know, you're ready to move forwards and become the best version of yourself, becoming stronger and stronger now. As all the burden lifts and you're ready to move on and enjoy your life, and be happy. Just feel it growing inside you, becoming stronger and stronger. That's right. Becoming stronger and stronger. Good. Becoming stronger and stronger as it pulses through your body now. As if a bright, bright light is shining on your head. Feeling you of love and acceptance from your future self, from your past, and from everybody who's ever loved you. That acceptance that it's time to move on. They want to give you the gift that it's time to move on. And it's okay to move on. Because that's life. There's no need to dwell on the past anymore. I want you to know it's okay. And now you know what you know. You can step confidently into the future. You become whoever it is you want to be. And in a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. And when you get to five, I want you to open your eyes and become fully alert. One, feeling confident and happy that you're ready to move on. Two, to become that person you want to be and have that environment you want to have. Clear, and clean, but still maintaining all those powerful memories of the path. Free of the clutter, the mental clutter, the physical clutter, free of the past, but still maintaining those powerful memories, those stories you tell yourself about where you've come from and where you're going. Who? Beginning to feel more alert now, feeling the fingers and toes coming back to life. One, opening your eyes, feeling fully alert, feeling great and ready to move on. Hi. <laughs> Wasn't expecting the uh, the faucets to open. <laughs> That's okay. You want to grab a tissue? No, it's all right. Okay. How are you feeling now? Yeah, good. That was um, yeah, very powerful. Was, uh, yeah, I could feel like the um the backpack like sort of. I guess I physically know how it feels carrying a heavy backpack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but like, yeah, just and then yeah, taking stuff out and. Yeah, just gradually leaning forwards and being able to move on, bitch. That's great. Mm. So what's next? Uh, I'm going to start clearing. <laughs> start great. getting rid of stuff. But yeah, I, as actually, as we kept going on, it's like the easy stuff was getting piled up at the side and it's like, oh, hold on, I'll just grab these things and then put them there and, yeah. Yeah. 